This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of DeChico versus Abdel Khalik. You all have been together for five years. You live together, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And, and Mr. Chico, you have concerns that your boyfriend is cheating on you, is that right? Yes, Your Honor. I want to talk about that in a minute, but before we do that, tell me how you all met. Well, Your Honor, we actually worked together first. We were friends. We work in the same gym, and we had an event. It was around Valentine's Day. We had both been single for a while, and like we were both flirtatious. I don't know, maybe I kind of made the first move, you know? I kicked it off. See, I, I like when a woman makes the first move. What does that look like? <laughs> you know, it was Valentine's Day, and so like I gave him a hug and a kiss, and he was like, you know, shocked, and then he just kind of went, came back like really hard and like kissed me, and like it, it got really intense right away. So, you know, that night we hooked up. You had the butterflies working? I did. It was so... I mean, he's a younger guy. I've never dated a younger guy before. It was unexpected. Yeah. Yeah. Well... I, I noticed there's a... Yeah, but... Th there's a 12-year age difference. Is that right? There is. There is, Your Honor. There is. Mr. Abdel Khaled. Yes, Your Honor. What was it about her that made you think, okay, I'm gonna take you to the next level? I mean, the first thing about her that she's a really good person and she's a family uh, woman, you know? She, you know, she takes care, really good care of me. And she knows how to take care of the family, you know? So... And so you all were together, good times, and you all have been together for five years, is that right? Listen, I love this man, and I know that he's been cheating on me. I just want the truth out front, in the open, and so there's no more lying, and I can do what I need to do. And I have to do it. <laughs> Mr. Abdel Khaled? Yes, Your Honor. You've heard Mr. Chico say she thinks you're cheating. What are you here to prove today? I'm here to prove that I did not cheat on this woman. I love her. Uh, I want this relationship to go on. Um, I'm not a cheater. I did not cheat. I'm tired of feeling like, you know, it's me. We had an event that we were supposed to go to with my parents, and that's when things went down. And I know that he's cheating on me. Tell, right. Okay, tell me what happened during this event. To make you think he's cheating. We were meeting for dinner for my, with my parents. It was supposed to be nighttime. Usually when he's at the gym, if he doesn't respond or get back to me right away, he'll text me or he doesn't just not respond. And that happened all day. Well, what time was he supposed to be home? Oh, he was supposed to be home at 5 o'clock. All right, and so 5 o'clock comes, he's Come, not there. Well, 5 o'clock came, six, I had to cancel plans. He comes in at like 7.30. I, I was just exhausted and drained from being up in my head. So when he came home, you know, I was angry. And because I'm in crazy mode, I'm like looking now. And you know what I find is a bra. Yeah, in the car. So I come back and clearly you can see that this would not fit me. I mean, hmm. It's amazing that she says that, and that's her bra actually. First of all, this would never fit me. He knows, even when I was smaller, that my boobs have always been the same size, and they sure as heck ain't fitting in that. She gained weight, Not right? any day. Not any day. Right. I'm gonna let Miss Cutler be the judge of that. Well, no, I don't think that would fit her. Can you see why she would think that that bra belonged to someone you may be sleeping with? I mean, I can see why she would think that, but that's not, that's not true. Well, right. Mr. Abdel Khalik, let me ask you this. The bra was in your car, but you were still two and a half hours late yeah. Yeah. coming home. Who were you with? On that day, I had a few extra sessions. That's it. What kind I'm of trying bed? to make money so I can provide for this woman. Yeah. She's not appreciating that. It's always something. See? He always does that. He it, always goes that a bad serious thing? or like, you know, I'm trying to provide. And that's why there's more. He was supposed to be with his family members and I'm calling him, can't get in touch with him, doesn't answer, doesn't respond. Then when he comes home, I'm like, so um, I thought you were at so-and-so's house, but I called so-and-so and guess what? You weren't there. But then he's gonna say this other person that he's training, that you're supposed to be training in the gym, he's at her house doing meal prep. Business. Okay, you're actually at somebody's house cooking for him? I'm not cooking for him, I'm showing him how to do it so yeah, he can get the right Which results. he already did in the gym. For him to do extra work, there's gotta be something in it for him. Why is he going to people's house? What do you need to go to someone's house for and do that I'm for? getting paid for that. I do that for all my clients. Oh. 
Uh, you go to their house. Wait, wait, wait. You go to their houses and help them set up their food. Yeah, for the male, first time. What? You show them how male to do it. You show them how, yeah, I show them how to do it Lies. for the first time, and then they, then they know how to get on it after that. Mr. Abdel your argument, your explanation makes sense. You're, meal tra you're training someone, you're doing meal prep, you're making extra money for both of you. It makes sense. I get that. But, 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 but. there's a communication element that's missing. And Maybe I can work on that. But that's the that. when, when you say communication, that's why when Mustafa proposed to me, I said no, because I believe he's cheating. And like I said, communication. I feel like he is not hearing me. And then why did he propose to me? Like right after this thing happened with the meal prep, like that was supposed to be a big, oh, you know, legitimate thing. He's going to come at me with proposing. So to me, that was manipulative. So that was strategy for him to try to, yeah. Yeah. And so instead of proposal out of love, it was a proposal out of strategy and manipulation. Absolutely, Your Honor. Absolutely. There's well, Mr. No Chico, I see you brought a witness. Would you please stand and come to the podium? Uh, would you please state your name for the court record? Yes, Your Honor. My name is Harrison Bach. Okay. And this is your mom? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Are you familiar with your mother's relationship? I am. We used to train together in the gym. All right. What is it that you have observed about the relationship that this court needs to know about? I noticed that uh, Mustafa over here is not being faithful to my mother. Mm -hmm. And she deserves better. What is it what, you what? have specifically seen? Mustafa over here is being very flirtatious with all the ladies in the gym. I don't know why he thinks he can talk to the ladies, let the ladies go all over him. Okay. But, but uh, you know, okay. Now, I know that looking at me, it doesn't look like I know much about the gym, okay? <laughs> I'll right. own that. <laughs> but I've actually occasionally had a trainer. Mm -hmm. And I can remember him, and I've had a female one too, you know, holding my waist to do things right. Or like, no, your back's not straight, or this is not straight. Right. So that's one. But I've also seen and heard them say, you know, things like, oh, you're looking sexy today, work that thing. <laughs> or, oh, I can Wait. see... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I've been to a gym or two in my day, and I'm not sure I've ever heard a trainer say, ooh, you look sexy, work that thing. No, no, Is no. That... You look as sexy today, work that thing. Same thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Same but thing, work the thing. To... <laughs> you haven't been to... Uh -oh. Is they're trying to be motivational, is what I'm saying, Mr. Cutler. Uh-huh. No, uh -huh. <laughs> You look sexy today, work that thing. Right. It's a women's okay. gym. They're trying to make you... Yeah, right. You know and, what I'm saying? And it's, that's trainer terminology. That's, uh, yeah. But it, it's motivational terminology. So, did he ever do meal prep with you? Never. And I'm All right, Mr. Never. All right, thank All you right, so Mr. much. All right, Mr. you can have a seat. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you Mr. Abdel Collett. Are you touching women? Are they jumping on you? Or, I mean, what is going on that this young man is observed? First of all, Your Honor, I'm, da I'm not dating him. I'm dating his mom. Uh -huh. So he, ha he has nothing to do with this, okay? But he was telling us what he's observed you doing in your gym. If I was doing I'm... that, I would have been fired okay. a long time ago. Just because I'm nice to the women that I train doesn't mean that I'm fl being flirtatious with them. I'm not being, you know, I don't want to have sex with them. Are you having sex with them? I don't want to have sex with them. That's all good and great, Your Honor, but enough is enough. Like, I am here today because I know that he's been cheating on me, and it's got to come out, and I have evidence. This is a text message. Yeah, And, and where did you get is. this text message from? I went all up in the phone, and I saw some regular stuff, but this here, this is not regular, and this is not normal. Okay. okay. And Ron, girls Ron, would you should grab not that? be talking to him, telling them that they're so happy of hanging out with him, and they can't wait to do it again and for next time. I had such a good time with an emoji. Okay, so... You don't send an emoji for a workout, like a heart. Okay, it says, other woman. Sorry, it took a while to respond. I was getting my nails done. The defendant. Wish you were here, too. Other woman, when am I going to see you again? We had so much fun the last time. Heart emoji. Exactly. So much fun the well, last time. Nobody says that for a workout, especially with him. And Harrison can testify to that, too. He will work you down like you're in pain. It's not had so much but, fun with a heart. Okay. Mr. Abdel Khalik, who was it that you wish was there, too? Mm hmm. Hmm. You know... No. Oh. If you're a trainer, 
and you're being oh nice God, here we go. to your clients. How is that evidence that you're having sex with them? I can get the fact that you are helpful with your clients. You kind of flirt with your female clients. You have to test them and put them in the right position legitimately oh. and all that. But when you get to the part where you're sending text messages that say, wish you were here too, I don't see that as part of personal training. I just who, think who was it that you wish was there too? Yeah, who? It was one of my clients. It's one of my long time clients, and I'm just with. being nice to the people. This is this vicious cycle that I've been in around and around and around and around. Well, it stops today because I'm not a sucker. I am not a sucker, and I'm not. Gonna, uh -uh. All right. Now. The court has done a full investigation to get to the bottom of these cheating allegations, and we have those results. The court engaged the services of Kendall Scholl of Kendall Investigations. Ron, please escort Mr. Scholl into the courtroom. Yes, Ron. Uh, Mr. Scholl, can you explain the investigative technique that you used in this case? We put Mr. Abdukalik in a room with one of my female associates, a woman, pretty blonde, to see if he was, in fact, a cheater. All right. Was there any interaction between your female associate and the defendant? Only after just a few minutes, Mr. Abdukalik and my associate engaged in casual conversation, which led them to talking about mutual interests. Take a look. <laughs> I want some hits. Oh, I don't want to like, bring this out, you know? I mean, I guess I'm not doing like that crazy bad, but, yeah. you know. Can you stand up? Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad, huh? I can look around this room and see several men that are looking not bad, and maybe but, in my Mr. age Chico, group. hold on just a this minute. A He's a trainer. He specializes in looking at people's bodies and say, you're solid here, you could do some work here, exactly. you could tighten this. Now, if Mr. Cutler was doing that, that'd be a problem, because he's not a trainer. <laughs> but that's what no. he does. But that's his angle. That's his angle. She was asking me, she was asking me a bunch of questions on how to um, get, like, uh, some muscles, and I was just telling her how to do that. Well, this is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Shaw, did Mr. Abdel Khalik reveal anything else to your associate? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Abdelkhalik actually let our female associate in on some very personal information. What? Take a look at that tape. Like, if you don't have sex with your girl, and, like, months go by, you're like, I really need some sex, and you're really attractive clients, so if you slip up a couple of times, how would she know? You know? Hey, you want some, you know, you took breaks, you took breaks as well. What? Like, there's been times when you took, like, uh, Break, so that count. Yeah. yeah. No, no. So uh, when did you uh, all take a break, Mr. Chico? We have not taken any breaks. I can't even believe this, a break. Is that what you tell people, that we're on a break? Yes. Well... We took breaks. We did no. take breaks. We do not take breaks. Okay, well, I haven't been on a break. Mr. Shaw, did anything else occur during this investigation? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, my God. So brutal. This is so brutal. I can't. The conversation took a very interesting turn. Take a look. Okay, I just want to make sure that you and the girl like have separate rooms. There's not gonna be any problems or anything like that. No, it's cool. Okay. So should I have like condoms ready or like what? you gonna bring them? How do you wanna do that? Um, such a weird face. What? You, can have, you can have some, but let's just work out and see how it goes. See how it goes? Yeah. Okay. So why is it, yeah, bring the condoms, we'll see what happens? Because we, she wants to, she wanted to work out with me. And but she was, she's she offering saying, to bring condoms. Do you use condoms <clears throat> during your workout? I did not respond to that. You said, You said, yeah, yeah bring them, let's see some, how it I'll goes. Say you can have some if you want. You I'm said, not gonna use them. And you said, let's see how it goes. Yeah, that means you were open mean to the possibility. I mean, I didn't want to turn off or to turn, turn down a client. <laughs> oh, oh God, Mr. Abdel Khalik. This, I, can't, I feel like such a fool. I can't even believe this. The court ordered Mr. Abdel Khalik to undergo a polygraph examination, and we have those results. Mr. Scholl, Mr. Abdel Khalik was asked, did the sports bra found in your vehicle by Mr. Chico 
belonged to another woman with whom you had sexual intercourse. What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being deceptive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You owe her the truth. Tell her what you've been doing and who you're doing it with. I shouldn't say that. I really love you. Well, like, what are you doing? Why do you need, like, why would you need to be deceptive? Like, you know, we could just have been dating. We could have did you on the side or whatever. Like, well, you don't want me dating anybody? Is that the thing? Just all for you? All for Mustafa, none for me, huh? But you love me. You love me. Now that you have the truth, huh. what is the future of your relationship with Mr. Abdel Khalik? I am moving out. You have disrespected me, and I take respect very seriously, and I'm not okay with this. Can I ask it's you something? It's not good. It's not good. Can I ask you something? It is not good. Can I ask you something? Huh. Why did you turn me down when I asked you to, asked you to marry me? Because I told you why. <laughs> <laughs> because you only asked me because I, the, right after all of that stuff. That was bra, before that. That was before well, that. Mr. Mr. Abdel Khalid. It was a game. I, I, I don't think it was I, a game. I can't speak for Mr. Chico. Only she can answer that question, but I'm kind of thinking that ship has sailed. <laughs> now, exactly. This is, exactly. As we say in this court, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Court is adjourned. <laughs>